Let's say you want to mix up a batch of chocolate chip cookies. I'm betting you already have some of the ingredients stored in your pantry, like sugar, flour, and salt. But what about chocolate chips? If you don't have any chocolate chips in your pantry, then it is essential that you pick up some at the store, or else your cookies will be incomplete. The ingredients in your chocolate chip cookie recipe are much like the amino acids in your body, which are the basic building blocks of proteins. Some amino acids can be made by the body and are always available, much like the dry ingredients stored in your pantry are always on hand. They are called non-essential amino acids. Other amino acids cannot be made by the body, so you must get them from your diet, much like you must travel to the store to get your very important chocolate chips. These are called essential amino acids. If you're missing any of these amino acids, your body has a hard time making all of the protein it needs. And since protein is needed for the repair, growth, and maintenance of the cells, you can see just how important it is to obtain all the needed amino acids. Now, your body works like a mixer, taking 20 different amino acids and mixing and matching them together into bonded chains that vary in length and sequence, kind of like a beaded necklace with beads of all different shapes and colors. Of these 20 amino acids, 10 are essential, so you consume them when you eat protein-containing foods such as meat, fish, poultry, eggs, and certain combinations of plant proteins. These foods get broken down in your digestive tract into the individual amino acids, which are then reassembled by your body to make the wide variety of proteins it needs. You can remember the name of the 10 essential amino acids by using the mnemonic private Tim Hall. The P in PVT, or private, stands for phenylalanine, which has a chemical makeup that consists of a big side chain, so we get to start our mnemonic with something big. Valine is next, which sounds somewhat valiant, which is a good word to associate with a private in the military. This is followed by threonine, and that three in the beginning is nice because it's the third amino acid in our mnemonic. Next, we see that TIM stands for tryptophan, isoleucine, and methionine. Because Private Tim is in the military, he takes many trips overseas, which keeps him isolated from his family. Yet Tim is very patriotic, so he sees that there is a method to this maddening travel requirement. Tim's last name is Hall, and these letters stand for the remaining essential amino acids, histidine, arginine, leucine, and lysine. Private Tim Hall is proud of his history as a member of the military, and although the traveling has been arduous at times, he feels lucky whenever he gets to lie his hands back on U.S. soil. Now, before we move on, we might want to go back to the essential amino acid arginine and put an asterisk beside it. That's because arginine is only essential during periods of rapid growth and development, like childhood. Arginine can be made by the body, which makes it partly non-essential, but it might not be able to make enough during times of high demand, so we call it semi-essential. Did you notice that most of our amino acids end in I-N-E? This is not a hard and fast rule for naming these substances, but you should keep this in mind because it can be a helpful clue when identifying essential and non-essential amino acids. Now, let's take a look at the remaining 10 amino acids, which are the non-essential ones. As we learned, these can be made by your body using available substances or through metabolic processes. The non-essential amino acids can be remembered by using the mnemonic, almost all girls go crazy, after getting taken prom shopping, which stands for alanine, asparagine, glutamate, glutamine, cysteine, aspartate, glycine, tyrosine, proline, and serine. Now, you have a lot of non-essential amino acids to remember here, so you might find it an additional help to recall that any amino acid that starts with the letters in the word gas, G-A-S, are non-essential. Of course, in order for this trick to work, you have to remember that arginine is semi-essential. Let's review. 
Amino acids are the basic building blocks of proteins. Non-essential amino acids can be made by the body, while essential amino acids cannot be made by the body, so you must get them from your diet. You must have all the amino acids so your body can build the wide variety of proteins it needs. Protein is needed for the repair, growth, and maintenance of the cells. You can remember the names of the 10 essential amino acids by using the mnemonic Private Tim Hall. The PVT stands for phenylalanine with its big side chain, the valiant valine, and the third essential amino acid is threonine. TIM stands for tryptophan, isoleucine, and methionine, and we learned that Private Tim takes many trips, which keeps him isolated, yet he sees that there is a method to his travels. Hall stands for histidine, arginine, leucine, and lysine. Private Hall is proud of his military history, and although the travel is arduous, he feels lucky when he gets to lie his hands back on U.S. soil. The remaining 10 non-essential amino acids can be remembered using the mnemonic Almost All Girls Go Crazy After Getting Taken Prom Shopping, which stands for alanine, asparagine, glutamate, glutamine, cysteine, aspartate, glycine, tyrosine, proline, and serine. We notice that amino acids that start with one of the letters in the word gas are non-essential. Of course, this takes into account our semi-essential amino acid, arginine.